Hello and welcome to our channel Digital Oasis. We are bringing you another fun and exciting story for you to enjoy today. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more of your favorite stories with great illustrations. Our story for today is about the Battle of the Duwadas, Labnan and MGA Duwada. Once upon a time, in the lush forests of the Philippines, there lived four powerful Duwadas, magical beings who ruled over the elements of nature. Arya, the Duwada of air, with her flowing blue robes and gentle breeze. Fuego, the Duwada of fire, her fiery red hair and sparkling eyes. Terra, the Duwada of earth, strong and steady, with vines wrapping around her arms. And finally, Aqua, the Duwada of water, her skin shimmering like the ocean waves. For many years, the Duwadas lived in harmony, working together to nurture the land and its creatures. But as time passed, each became convinced that her element was the most important, and they began to argue and fight for control. Arya unleashed mighty windstorms that toppled trees. Fuego sent scorching fires that burned the forests. Terra shook the ground with violent earthquakes, and Aqua flooded the rivers and streams. The once beautiful land was thrown into chaos and destruction. The Duwada's battle raged on, season after season. The skies remained dark with Arya's storm clouds. Fuego's fires smoldered, leaving blackened earth. Terra's tremors shattered homes and buildings, and Aqua's floods washed away crops and livestock. The humans of the land were forced to flee their homes, seeking shelter in the highest mountains and caves. The children cried for the beautiful forests and fields they once played in. The elders mourned the loss of the natural bounty the land had provided for generations. Finally, the oldest and wisest Duwada, Lola Bante, could no longer bear to see the land and its people suffer. She wove powerful magic to summon the four Duwadas together. When they arrived, their bickering continued, each still claiming her element was supreme. Lola Bante raised her ancient staff, and a blinding light flashed over the land. In that moment, the four Duwadas could see the devastation their battle had caused. Lola Bante said, My children, you must stop this foolish battle. Don't you see that without air, there is no fire? Without earth, there are no trees to make air? Without water, the trees and all life will wither? You are all connected and one cannot survive without the other. Ashamed, the four Duwadas realized the error of their ways. They embraced, pledging to make amends and work together again. Arya's breeze cleared the storm clouds and fanned Fuego's flames to renew the forests. Terra steadied the ground, allowing Aqua's waters to replenish the rivers and irrigate the crops. Slowly but surely, the Duwadas' combined magic healed the land. The humans were able to return to their homes, greeted by lush greenery, bountiful harvests, and the songs of wildlife once again filling the air. From that day on, the Duwadas worked in perfect harmony, protecting the natural balance of the Philippines. And always, they reminded those who lived there that true power comes not from one force alone, but from the cooperation and unity of all elements. The End that is the story for today. I hope you love it. Please like our stories and subscribe to Digital Oasis channel. And hit the notification bell for future stories made specially for you. Visit our channel for more stories and follow us on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button.